Welcome back to Earth from Space. Today, the Banks Peninsula on the South Island of New Zealand is featured in this Copernicus Sentinel-2 image. The Banks Peninsula, visible in the bottom right, consists of two overlapping extinct volcanoes, the Littleton Volcano and the Akaroa Volcano. The peninsula was formed by several volcanic eruptions that took place around 8 million years ago. The name of the peninsula comes from Sir Joseph Banks, a British biologist who sailed with Captain Cook. Breaches in the crater walls led to the formation of two long and thin harbours, Littleton in the north and Akaroa in the south. The peninsula also has many other smaller bays and coves, giving it its unusual cogwheel shape. Christchurch, the largest city on South Island, is visible immediately north of Banks Peninsula. The jagged coastline heavily contrasts with the adjoining flat Canterbury Plains. Extending around 80 kilometers inland from the coast to the foothills of the Southern Alps, visible in the top left of the image, the plains are a rich agricultural region, known for wheat and barley, as well as wool and livestock. The Rakitata, Rakaya, and Waimakariri are the principal rivers visible in the image flowing southeast from the Southern Alps. The Rakaya River, visible in the center, is one of the largest braided rivers in New Zealand. The river travels for over 150 kilometers before entering the Pacific Ocean. The turquoise colors suggest the presence of sediment being carried into the ocean by river discharge, as well as algal blooms. Between the Rakaia River and the Banks Peninsula lies Lake Ellesmere. The lake is actually a shallow coastal lagoon, with its emerald green colors most likely due to a high concentration of chlorophyll. The long stretch of land visible in brown is the Kaitoreti Spit and is a barrier that separates the lagoon from the Pacific Ocean. Sentinel-2 was a two-satellite mission to supply the coverage and data delivery needed for Europe's Copernicus program. The mission's frequent revisits over the same area and high spatial resolution allow changes in inland water bodies to be closely monitored. 